Hi everybody, uh, this is a very quick vlog uh, about a repair that I carried out to my motorhome a few weeks ago. Initially it was one that I thought was going to be a fairly expensive problem to fix but I was able to do it myself for about 10 pence for the part. And what sort of prompted me to put it on here was I went onto Facebook a few days later and seen another lady on there on the motorhome and happiness site who was experiencing the same problem. So I contacted her via messenger privately and sent some photos and it appeared it was the same problem so she was able to resolve it without taking it into the garage and costing her a fortune. So I thought I'd just share it with you people out there. I know a lot of you are very experienced motorhomers and will see the fix that I've done and think well that's quite straightforward. But for someone like myself that has no real skills or ability in technical things or anything motorhome with though I've had one for eight years. Um, I thought it was great that I was able to save myself that money. Now I'll just set the scene then. We were going to go away on a Thursday. So I bought the ho motorhome home on the Thursday evening, plugged it into the electrics, I put fresh water in just so I could put the pump on, run the water around, make sure the tap and everything was working as it should be. No issues, everything was fine. Left it, come back to the van on the Friday morning to find in the bathroom area that the whole of the floor was just covered in water and straight away I'm just thinking this is going to be an expensive repair not only that it's today's Friday we're due to go away tomorrow and I've got an hour to make the trace of why we're not going away so what I'll do is I will take you through to the bathroom area and I'll just show you the problem that I had and how I went about resolving that problem and the fix that I put in place So I came through to the bathroom and I could quite clearly see, as soon as I stood on this, all the carpet was soaking wet. So immediately I'm thinking, as anyone would, hey, where's that water coming from and what's it going to cost to get repaired? So I've had a little look, I can actually see that the water was coming in from a down and around this area here. So my next thought was, well, how are they going to get into that? Will they need to get in behind the shower and remove anything because that could be a costly task. Logic told me that there must be a way for the engineers or if there's any warranty work to be done for them to actually gain access into this area here. So I had to look around and we had tails on here initially but here I found this hatch that I wasn't aware of here, I'd never seen it, unscrewed it, took it away and in there is a cold and hot water feed and it was clear then what the problem was the cold water had popped out I just imagine that was through the pressure where it had been stored for a while and put the pump on and there's a pressure build up that pushed it out now it is just a pull in or a pull out push in connector so I turned the pump off pushed it back in pump back on ran the water through the shower but it popped out again so I took it out to have a look at it and the male connector that comes out, it had a black rubber seal on the top end of it, but you could see at the bottom, there was also a recess for another black little seal, which it didn't have on it. Now I've had this wagon from new, so I'd only sort of assume that Swift never put it on. It was an oversight for whatever reason. So all I did was go out and buy two new black seals, one for the top, one for the bottom, change them both. Put a bit of plumber's tape around, pushed it in, and uh, so it's got a good secure connection and we haven't had a problem since so problem resolved initially after me thinking i'd have to take it in to get repaired what i have done over the last few weeks i've left this hatch undone just so i could keep an eye on it but no there's been no movement and everything's nice and secure in here so problem fixed so if you do come into water in your bathroom then that's the first place i'd have a look and also it's in here that you can get access to change your tap in the shower if you needed to do that. Right guys, that's it. Hopefully it's been useful to at least one person. As I said, it was to that lady that I spoke to on the um, forum on Facebook, because it sorted her problem out. Uh, and it stopped her taking her van in for what could have been potentially an expensive repair. Um, if this video has been helpful, please leave some comments. If you've enjoyed watching the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to help make our channel grow. And if you hit the icon for the notifications button, then uh, it will tell you when we upload any future videos. And we have got a few coming up from some of the sites that we visited on a little break. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Take care.